Hello. 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 A little hiccup in our affairs, you know. Well, we've all been there, Arthur. I mean, I've put my hand to a lot of things in my time. Mind you, I've never done anything unless there was a quid in it, and usually a very good quid. But this bloody recession, mate, I mean, it's really hit people bad. This bloody rat-bag, boom-bust economy, it's really driving every... Sorry, Arthur, that's just me. Well, let's, uh, let's hope it leads to a fruitful relationship. Um, your daughter tells me that you can lay your hands on... Assorted merchandise. Yeah, they well, uh, got the odd box back at the unit. Yeah. What I'm specially interested in is anything electronical. I find a working man is a sucker for gadgets, especially when he's on the outside of a few pints. <laughs> yeah, I think I know the sort of stuff you're after. Well, what are you having, kids? Oh, can us out, Dad. I'm taking Ray on a trip around the hub. Oh, Ray, what about your hot dogs? Well, there's no cricket today, Arthur. I've got the afternoon off. Yeah, but shouldn't you be filling in with something temporary? Oh, I'll give the lad a break, Arthur. <laughs> All work and no play, you know. Don't you be late for that bar job? I'm not blaming you, know. I mean, the pubs these days are bloody bedlam. I mean, what, uh, what sort of payout do you get on them things? Pokies? Oh. Bad. Pretty good. You crack a jackpot with them, mate. It'll bury you in brass up to your kneecaps. Really? Why don't you give it a go? Try <laughs> your luck. Yeah. Right. Here, up. Uh, schooner and a vodka tonic. <laughs> and I'll have uh, 20 on Maria Martin in the fifth of the nose. Um, Maria Martin? Yeah, Arthur Daly. Very funny. Here you go, Arthur. Oh, we, uh, we have a different system at the Winchester. I'll tell you what I got that might interest you, Arthur. Solar-powered FM radios. Beautiful things with their own headphones, made right here in Gonzo. What's wrong with them? The solar-powered, Arthur. But you have to be pretty close to the bloody sun to get them going, you know what I mean? What is the pre-retail price of these astronaut specials? Ten bucks a piece. Oh, um, miss, I gave you a $20 note. Not all that weight in. I'll, um, I'll take two on trial. Two? The thing's that bad. No, 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 but there's some um, product testing, market evaluation, promotional research. You can't be too careful. Had a bit of inside information, eh, Des? How's that, love? Maria Martin in at 25 to 1. You beauty. Oh, look at this. <laughs> How many of these radios do you say you've got? 100% self-sufficient, ladies and gentlemen. No wires, no batteries, run by Mother Nature in the form of the sun. An inexhaustible power supply, and ozone friendly to boot. And how much are you asking for, mate? $25. I'm my own worst enemy. Every component is guaranteed 100% Australian. Can you hear me, sir? Excuse me. Hello? Hello? There you are, ladies and gentlemen. The young man is completely engulfed in the music of Vivaldi, to the exclusion of all other distracting noises. Such is the power of solar ad. Hello? Amazing. It, it was like being there listening to a full orchestra. The, the, the French horns, the piccolos. It, I never knew you could get so much power out of a little box like that. I was really engulfed. Don't overdo it. I'll have one. I'll have one. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Another satisfying time. One. The perfect gift for the difficult relative. There we are, madam. Thank you very much. There we are. $25 change, madam. Thank you, sir. There we are. Maybe it's his way of uh, apologising to you, Arthur. You know, for all the trouble he's caused you, mate. I don't think you realise the enormity, Derek. This man is the Al Capone of the cream tea, and he thinks I'm the UK equivalent. If he has his way, I'll be going through customs carrying more chemicals than ICI. Well, there's only one thing for it. You need to get out of Australia, mate. Look, what we need is something we can sell for bigger money. We can pay for the hotel with a radio and hamburgers, but there's still the air tickets. Well, I do have a box of more expensive gadgets. They're... Uh... 
personal organisers. 200 bucks a throw, but they're beautiful little things and they work perfectly. But you haven't sold them. But they're not hot, are they? Ray, Ray, it's a very warm country. Sail or return, Derek? Hello, Derek. Des, Des. Arthur, don't. No bugger in Australia is called Derek. Yes. Being out here has been good for me. It gives a man a sense of perspective, too. I mean, here, here I am, on the other side of the world, and yet, how, how can I put it? What am I trying to say is, man is a pioneer buffeted by the winds of fate. Very well put, Arthur. Buffet, buffeted. Me, me and Ray come to this far-flung corner of the Commonwealth. Well, I mean, let's face it, they couldn't have flung it much further, could they? And, and, we, and, and we had a setback. Things become a bit grim. Grim, yes, sir. But, but with hard work and, and inspiration, we will win through. That is what I mean by a pioneer, Derek. It is. It's, it's... Arthur, Arthur. What does this, Arthur? Well, what is that? Do you think? Go on. <laughs> Pioneer. <laughs> right, Desi. Get the food off your face, take the two pot screamer, and get yourselves home. Mm -hmm. Well, Arthur, we shall leave this place and go to a bar around the corner where they don't mind a couple of pioneers having a drink and a laugh. <laughs> Pioneer! <laughs> He's got a gun. Of course he's got a gun, Arthur. You can't expect them to stop bank robbers by pulling out their personality, can you? Having some sort of problem, fella? Pro problem, officer, yes. Well, the problem was you driving like a cocky in a cage. I was unable to... to... I have reason to believe you've been drinking this afternoon, sir. <laughs> he has reason to believe. We've been 10 out of 10, Sherlock. Step out of the car, please, gentlemen. What? <laughs> yes, of course. Not a nibble. We've hit all our best pitches and they just don't want to know. Well, I hate to say this, Arthur, but you know this theory of yours about studying the punter's psychology? It has never been known to fail. Well, I think you may have misread the Australian character, mate. In what way? Well, the average Sydney sider doesn't like organisation. You know, everything in its place and all that. He likes a bit of chaos, a bit of... Devil may care, take me as I am. I may be sweaty, but my undies are clean. You know what I mean? We're frontiersmen, Arthur. I mean, you can't carve a city like Sydney out of the bush and be worrying about your mother-in-law's birthday at the same time. You know? why, why did you not make these thoughts known at the time of purchase? Well, you were on a roll, mate, and I thought it best just to let you keep going. So, in your assessment, I am holding stock that will be about as popular as a nut cutlet at a cannibal's feast. Well, I don't want to put too fine a point to it, Arthur. They're not moving, are they? I think there's only one thing for it. The rice lip rush. It's a sales technique very much in vogue during the war. There were a lot of American airmen in the area. They called it the hard sell. Watch. Well, Arthur, mate. It was some adventure, but I wouldn't have missed it for quids. No, it's been an education, Derek. Certainly not as advertised in the Sunday glosses back home. I, uh, got a little something for you to remember us by. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, just what I'd have chosen myself. <laughs> Snow. 